you know, Germantown is one of, if not the best place to live in the Memphis area. Yeah. At, least, at least that's what some people are saying. Yeah, but everybody loves it. They sure talk about it a lot. But is it the right place for you? What's up everybody, welcome back to the Moving to Memphis channel. We're in Germantown again today. We're here at Saddle Creek. And you know, Chris, Germantown, according to niche.com, is the number one rated place to live in Memphis. In the Memphis area. In the Memphis area. I believe it. It's tech, tech, not in Memphis. It's not it? in Memphis. It it's a, a suburb of Memphis. It is a suburb of Memphis. But uh, number one rated here. So we're gonna kinda explore that a little bit. Is it is it the number one place for you though? So we're looking at the pros and cons, kinda kinda give you an idea of if, if it's the right place for you and mm -hmm. for a lot of people, a lot, a lot of you watching this, answer will be yes. Some of you maybe no. Let us know in the comments what you think. Let us know if maybe we missed something too as we go through these pros and cons. Uh, but we're gonna start here with the first pro kind of starting with what's here and then getting around it and and that's just the location so here in germantown there's a lot obviously you got some high-end shopping here yeah uh you got the lululemon the apple i keep telling chris he needs to get in that uh, lululemon and uh maybe buy some stuff for his wife maybe yeah. i don't know if he wants to try on you don't wear leggings a lot do you no i try not to I try to stay away from those <laughs> but uh you got all that here but what else is around i mean because you got a really convenient location as far as what's around and commuting yeah. and things to do so you mentioned the high-end shopping is definitely one of the pros of germantown but you've also got some great restaurants in the area local companies i think stony river is here is one of them in this shopping center but you've also got ruth chris right on the edge in east memphis right there um you've got the major hospitals near here you got germantown methodist there and you've got baptist east on the um on the west side of germantown here so yeah great location and it's easy to get everywhere right you've got poplar which runs right through the heart of germantown and all the way down to downtown memphis if that's where yeah. you wanted to go but um poplar is a great thoroughfare to get everywhere in the area yeah and you can take it and get up on the racetrack at 240 if you want to yeah yeah you can and, get on the uh, autobahn on it go uh, aka <laughs> I-240 and see what happens there. You can get all around on that. But yeah, I mean, and that makes it good too for commutes, obviously not just things to do, you know, if you're, if you're working in East Memphis or or really even up to up to Bartlett. I mean, it's, it's just, it's an easy place to get around. All right, y'all, so another thing that's gonna be a big pro for anybody who's thinking about moving to anywhere in the area, but especially here for Germantown, is yeah. gonna be the schools. Yeah, the schools in Germantown are great, guys. Some of the best performing schools in our area. And what are they ranked on that website, Jerry? It's niche.com. They're rated a A or A minus. All of them are. And I, I do want to give a little interesting thing about the school. So this is, this is confuse you if you don't know. So there are a Germantown Elementary, Germantown Middle and High School. Yep. Those are actually not part of the Germantown School District as of right now. They're still part of uh, Memphis Shelby County, or is it Shelby County Schools? Yeah, they're part of the yeah. Memphis Shelby County Schools as we speak today, which is in January. But I believe that's all about the change. You guys can Google the three G's in Memphis and they'll give you the breakdown of all that. But basically they're being transferred back over to the city of Germantown sooner than later. Yeah, so that kind of lets you know there's some growth going on. They wanted to expand yeah. and get those. I think they've kind of wanted their you know, namesake schools. They wanted their while, namesake you know. schools back for sure. And plus, there's a lot of tradition in those schools. They've got great sports programs at the high schools, some of the best basketball and football teams in our area. All right, y'all, if you're liking this so far, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell. That way you get notified when our new videos come out. Uh, you don't want to miss them. We got them coming out all the time. And then, you know, we're going to go ahead and jump into our final pro. And that's the fact that here in Germantown, you got really low crime rates. It's a safe area. It is a really safe area, Jerry. You got a great police presence in the Germantown area. As soon as you come across that line, you'll notice the cops on either side of the road. They've also got the traffic uh, cameras at all the lights. So a great presence of police force here in the Germantown area. Yeah, so that's keeping that national, or the, the crime rates well below the national average here in Germantown. But because of what Chris just said, I'm gonna roll this into our actual, actually our first con for Germantown, which yeah. is if you like speed, uh, or if you, well, I guess if you'd like to do anything that's going to be against the law, but they're going preferably to you're you. just doing those minor things like speeding yeah. if you're doing yeah, anything. Yeah, they're going to get you, Jared. You cannot speed and you cannot do things um, outside of the law here in Germantown because they will pick you up quick. Yeah, they're everywhere. I mean, you're just just when we were coming, like rolling into Germantown just now, they mm -hmm. had somebody pull over in the, yep. in the media, which I thought. Yeah, so you better have your seatbelt on, all your lights better be working, your tags better be um, up to date. So uh, watch yourself coming through Germantown because they will get you. All right, and our next con on the list is just that while you can find some beautiful houses like these here behind us, that's going to be most of what you'll find here in Germantown. There's yeah. not really a lot of affordable options. No, these beautiful homes are all over Germantown, right? But that starting point, I think we looked earlier, earlier Jared, and what did we find? Maybe one below 400,000? Yeah, not, two not many. Two below 500? And then, you know, a little bit below, but yeah, five to 600 is where kind of you started seeing more options. Yeah. 
Uh, and then of course you can go on up the way. I think I saw all the way up to about three million. You yeah. know, is you know, and that's I'm not even saying that's the cap. That's just what I saw on the market recently. Yeah, yeah tons of million dollar homes in the Germantown area. So if that's you, give us a call. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that's actually a good point to uh, go ahead and make right now. If you are that person who's thinking about making a move here, whether it's to the million dollar home or, you know, just something else, we're here to help all y'all. So make sure y'all give us a call, text, email, you know, reach out. He's going to answer the phone. Yeah. Call me or text me at the number below. We'll get started together and start that process of moving you right here to Memphis. Yeah. We're going to keep you from, uh, what do we say? Singing the blues. Singing the blues about your move to Memphis. So if you've made it this far, drop us a like below. Let us know you're liking the video, but go ahead and tell them. What's that last con, Jared? So here in Germantown, if you look at the stats, and we pulled these from niche.com, we'll pop them, pop them up. Oh, if I can talk, y'all. Pop them up here on the screen so you can see. It's just a little lopsided with diversity. You're going to see that there in those numbers. Uh, so if you're looking for diversity, if that's something that's important to you, you know, you just, you have a little bit of a lack of that here. Yeah. But we've been out in town all day today, right, Jerry? Did you feel that in person? I didn't really feel it, but you know, like I said, I don't know who lives here, who what, you know, and I'm not here all the time, you know, I don't have a, a good representation. So if you live in Germantown yourself, you actually live in Germantown, that's a good chance for you to get out in the comments and let us know what you see here. What do you experience? Uh, both of that and anything else on our list. And matter of fact, anybody else, what do you think about the whole list? Does Germantown sound like it's the right place for you? Is it do the pros balance the cons? Maybe, maybe not. Let us know what you think about that. And look, if you like Germantown, if you're thinking, hey, it, it sounds like the right place for me, go ahead and look, if you like this one, we did another video where we took you around and toured. Now, we've tried to show you some places here, like this one where they do, uh, what, what's it, Chris? Uh, the Germantown here? Charitable Horse Show is here every year. It's a big deal. Yeah, so it's, so it's a big deal they do here. But, um, you know, we did another one where we kind of took you around some different places in Germantown. So if you want to know even more, check out the video we did right there, and we'll see you there.